Hi guys, welcome to this video. I'm Prashant. I'm the founder of Word Pandit and I'm bringing this series of videos to you wherein I explain previous year CAT questions and previous year CAT RCs. Here we've got a CAT 2018 passage. It's one which is based on Saturn and its rings. Those of you who are interested in planets, who are interested in our cosmos, you would be generally interested by this passage. You would you would have a good time reading this particular passage. Uh, what do we do in these passage analysis videos? We go through the passages with a fine comb and we try to extract the most important points in any particular passage. These would help you solve these RC passages. Let's get started here. Let's dig into this passage. What does it start with? It states not everything looks lovelier than lovelier the longer and closer its inspection. But Saturn does. Why does Saturn look lovely? It is gorgeous through earthly telescopes. However, 13 years of close observation provided by Cassini and a Pelican spacecraft showed the planet, its moons, and its remarkable rings of better and better revealing finer structures, striking novelties, and greater drama. So Cassini is an American spacecraft. It's in this space. And this is Expected Saturn for 13 years and it gave a lot of data right about the planets, moons, its rings, its finer structures. By and large, the big things in the solar system, planets and moons are thought of as having been around since the beginning. So you assume they've been around since the beginning. The suggestion that the rings and moons are new is though made even more interesting by the fact that one of those moons, Enceladus, is widely considered the most promising site in the solar system on which to look for alien life. So a couple of things here. A, the author has introduced the fact that uh, it is generally thought of that anything which is big in the solar system, planets and moons, it's been there since the, since the beginning, the beginning of the solar system. You assume it's been there since the beginning of the solar system. But in the case of Saturn, it appears that these rings and moons are new and one of those is a promising site for alien life. If Enceladus is both young and bears life, that life must have come into being quickly. This is also believed to have been the case on Earth. So a similarity to Earth has been drawn. Were it true on an Enceladus, that would encourage the idea that life evolves easily when conditions are right. So this is another aspect of the passage which is very very interesting, right? One reason for thinking Saturn's rings are young is that they are bright. The solar system is suffused with comet dust. So that is, it is filled with comet dust and comet dust is dark, leaving Saturn's ring system, which Cassini has shown to be more than 90% water ice, out in such a mist is like leaving laundry hanging on a line in downwind from a smokestack. It will get dirty. So when you leave something downwind, that means wind is blowing in that direction. So smoke is blowing in that direction. And if laundry is hanging out to dry on a line and wind is blowing in its direction, uh, the laundry will get dirty. So something similar is implying with Saturn's rings. If they are out there and there is comet dust and that comet dust is blowing, the rings are supposed to get dirty. The lighter the rings are, the faster this will happen for the less mass they contain, the less celestial pollution they can absorb before they start to discolor. Now, what does this line mean? This is an interesting line. The fact of the matter is this line has a subtle implication. It simply means it refers to the fact that these rings are light. Why are they light? Because they've been created recently. That is in comparison to other parts of the solar system. But since they are lighter in nature, what happens is their ability to absorb right before they start to discolor, their ability to absorb celestial pollution is lower, right? Because they contain lesser amount of mass. Hence, they will not get as dirty as some of the other rings. And this process of getting dirty, of cleaning up is going to happen faster with them. And that is what the author is implying here. Jeff Cusey, a scientist at the American Space Agency, NASA, who helped run Cassini, told the Lunar and Planetary Science Conference in Houston that combining the mass estimates with Cassini's measurements of the density of comet dust near Saturn suggests that rings are no older than the first dinosaurs, nor younger than the last of them. Right? That is, they are somewhere between 200 million and 70 million years old. So this is a timeline that has been drawn for them. This timing fits well with a theory put forward in 2016 by Matija Cook of the SETI Institute. They suggest that around the same time as the rings came into being, an old set of moons orbiting Saturn destroyed themselves. And from their remains emerged not only the rings, but also the planet's current suit of inner moons, Dia, Dione, uh, Titus, Enceladus, and Mimas. Dr. Cook and his 
colleagues use computer stimulations of Saturn's moon's orbits as a sort of time machine. Look at the rate at which tidal friction is causing these moons, causing these orbits to lengthen. They extrapolated backwards to find out what those orbits would have looked like in the past. They discovered that about 100 million years ago, the orbits of two of them, Tethys and Nyon, would have interacted in a way that left the planets in which the orbit markedly tilted, but their orbits are untilted, right? Now the thing is, looking at this data, right, and looking at it as like a time machine and doing a backwards extrapolation from their current orbits, the way they are orbiting now, they basically went back in time, ran a computer simulation, and there is a tilt in these orbits and the way they are operating, right? Now, they were supposed to have a tilt, right? They were supposed to have a particular tilt, but these are untilted. The obvious if unsettling conclusion was this, that this interaction never happened. And thus at the time when it should have happened, Dion and Tethys were simply not there. They must have come into being later. So basically they went back into time at a particular point in time. There should have been an interaction with which the planes were tilted, but the orbits for these two moons, they are not tilted. Hence, if they are not tilted currently, that means that they missed that interaction and they were not there during that point of time. Hence, this is another piece of evidence which is used to imply what? That the moons and the rings of Saturn are relatively newer creations, right? That's the whole theme that the passage revolves around. Uh, this is not a difficult passage to read by any means. Uh, just a passage which you can analyze, read closely and just figure out that effectively the author is just implying that the moons and rings of Saturn are their newer creations vis-a-vis -vis the other parts of the planetary system. So this is all what this passage is about. I hope you are clear with the passage now. Thank you very much for watching this video and as always, happy learning.